Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Beacon Pines. Um, I'd like to thank Pajamin for gifting me this game. He's a good friend of mine. He said it might... He said this game might be a good fit for my channel, um, but didn't really say much about it, aside from the fact that, like, your choices affect the story. I looked on the game page, it appears to be, like, a visual novel or, um, choose-your-own-adventure game. Wait. Allow me to introduce you to my book. Oh, there's voice acting. Okay, hold on a second. Though it might at first appear like many books you've come across, it is far from ordinary. You may, therefore, have some misunderstandings about its nature. The story that awaits you has not been fully told. In fact, its conclusion is not yet known. It is in that way that my book is special. It is in that way that you are special. <laughs> Without you, there is no story. Chapter 1. Normal isn't what it used to be. This is a story about change. Nestled in a shallow valley is the town of Beacon Pines. Far from the town square, across the river, past the neglected welcome sign, a young boy walks alone at dawn. His name is Luca Van Horn, and like you, dear Van reader, <laughs> he's here for a reason. Okay, I don't know how much voice acting this game has. I, voice acting is always super impressive, but like... I kind of want to read the stuff out myself to kind of add my own twist to the Let's Play, you know? By the way, I really like the character design in this too. Like, the proportions are really cute. Um, it's very well detailed for what it is. Like, these are some very nice looking designs. Hey, look at that dude. <laughs> hey, Dad. How are things going? Today is the first day of summer vacation. Also, this does not appear to be voice acted, so I get to actually read some stuff. Okay. I start middle school next year, I guess. So you're a fifth grader. Okay. I was six year old, uh, years old when uh, when you died, and it's been six years now. From here out, you'll have um, you'll have been gone longer than I were he than you were here. Feels like uh, that should mean something. Mom always said that this tree was your favorite spot in the world. Me too. Hey, Luca. I knew I'd find you here. I am not going to be able to swap between or like swap the audio on the fly like that because I have no clue what lines aren't. It seems like only the narrator is voiced. Yeah, whatever. I might just voice everything. Rolla was Luca's closest friend. Okay, maybe not. That That's kind of freaking me out trying to do both at once. Hopefully you can just hear her. I don't know. <laughs> well, after I banged on your door until you, um, your grand answered, and after I checked the pond and climbed up the treetops, then I knew I'd find you here. Oh, yeah, right. You and your mom always did uh, this on your dad's birthday. Yeah. I didn't know if you were going to keep doing it now that your mom is gone too. She's not gone. She's just missing. Sorry, I meant to say, um, since she was missing. She's gonna come back, Rolo. Of course she is. Okay, Dad, see you next time. I think I'm ready to get out of here. Sure, lead the way. I get a jump button. a very weird feeling jump, but given the nature of this game, I'm gonna assume it doesn't mean much. <laughs> what the? What? Find a charm. What are charms? Hold on. Oh, hi. <laughs> she jump scares me every time. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so I guess those are like bonus concepts I can find, I guess. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. The whole reason I was looking for you. I was wondering if you'd ever get to that. I found the perfect way to start our summer. How's that? Not here. 
They might be watching. They? Who? Not so loud. We need to do this in a secure location. Mission control. Alright, I guess I, uh... I'll just have to tell Grim, and then we can head out. What are you going to tell her? I don't know, I think- I'll think of something. If it's all the same to you, I'll meet you at the welcome sign. Your grand still kinda wig, uh, wigs me out. I don't do well with new people. She moved in, like, half a year ago. Just meet me at the sign when you're done. Suit yourself, I won't be long. So our mission's going there too? Okay, okay. Dear leader, forgive me for this interlude. <laughs> Remember that charm you found in the dandelion patch? There are more of those special charms to discover throughout Beacon Pines. They've been known to reveal themselves to those who are willing. Some of them Willing to what? This very house. Really now. <laughs> Her voice sounds really familiar. I should look up who that is later. Grim had already lit the fire. She kept a warm house, as if by grandmotherly obligation. Oh, that's a big chair. Ponder. Just <laughs> slide right off. <laughs> I was a doctor. With it. Not for years, though. Just some dusty knickknacks. Okay. Luca paused at his parents' bedroom door. He just wasn't ready to go in yet. Gran had commandeered the upstairs closet when she moved in. Some things need shelter from a young boy's mischief, she said. Huh. I guess this is my room. This is a big room for a kid. Uh, why does it have two beds? Even though it was the oh. Summer, a chill still hung in the air. Chill, okay. Oh, I see, I see, okay. Grand's bed was undisturbed. Luca didn't mind that she had a habit of falling asleep in front of the fireplace. It meant that he could read late into the night. Junk. Oh, turn that off. <laughs> Don't waste your water. I saw the bubble pop up for like a second. The only piece of furniture Grand had brought when she moved in was an old hutch. She's got to be outside. Oh my. This is quite exciting. I am now certain that you are the one I have been waiting for all these years. You'll recall I was a bit coy regarding the use of charms earlier. <laughs> Excuse me. I tend to have a flair for the dramatic. You are about to encounter your first turning point. There are certain times in this tale when everything hinges on a single word. Step forth, dear reader. So I guess I pick one and it kind of alters the story? Okay. A beginner's guide to gardening laid open on the bench. 
Oh, wow. Hey, Grant, I'm gonna go hang with Rolo for, for the day. See you later. Hold up now. Where are you and Rolo heading exactly? Nowhere special. I see. Okay. I gotta, like, ponder, hide, or chill. We're gonna go hide for the day. I don't know what we're doing either, honestly. I feel like I might as well just make this a random, <laughs> or pick a random option. God, this art really is nice, though. Jeez, um, <laughs> I like ponder. Oh, really? What are you go uh, boys going to ponder about on such a lovely day, exactly? Uh, you know. Big stuff. Small stuff. Medium. Mostly medium pondering. Well, make sure you don't overburden yourself with, uh, preponderance of pondering. Huh? Oh, forget it. Off of you now. Impressive. You've managed to navigate your first turning point without <laughs> too much of a mess. That is the power of charms. A single word can change everything. I think it's time to introduce you to the Chronicle. That sounds important. Hold on. It's a tree? The Chronicle is a record of the decisions you've made. Oh, okay. I get it. It's your... It's your, uh... Uh, your... Plot line? Uh, yeah. What's the term for these in games like this? The turning point, which has been revealed. At any time, you can use the Chronicle to go back and invoke different charms, creating new branches. Oh, I like that they just let you do this anywhere. Luckily for us, this is the one and only turning point where the charms won't dramatically alter fate. It's the perfect opportunity to experiment with rewriting things. Okay. A grand jury? <laughs> I want to see what Hyde says. Hide. Additionally, when one is trying to hide something, they avoid literally using the word hide. Yeah, I guess Rolo uh, bet some other kids that we um, could beat them at hide and seek. Aren't you a little old for that? It's not like there's much else to do around here. Make sure you boys are done playing your little game in time for supper. <laughs> Young Luca would spend hours hiding in the bushes. Waiting for a chance to jump out and startle his mother. She always enjoyed humoring him by feigning terror. Oh, oh, and Luca. You and Rolo stay out of trouble. I know, I know. <laughs> so it seems like there's not only a lot of, um branching pathways here, but they might hide some of them by, like, hiding some of those keywords. Oh, the, oh, the, the hi! Uh, come on, come on! Dang it, Rolo. For a town that saw few visitors, the welcome was perhaps more grand than necessary. I think it's a nice sign. What's down here? The road leading to Beacon Pines was long and uninspiring. A sort of natural barrier for the impatient. You know the drill. Don't let anyone discover our secret path. Chapter 2 Welcome to Beacon Pines. For many years, this valley had been a small mining outpost. It wasn't until Sharper Valentine built his fertilizer company that Beacon Pines was established. Wait, started as a mining outpost? Like, night in the woods? Wait. <laughs> Over the next 30 years, the town had grown and prospered. God, I loved that game. Until the foul harvest and his sudden death. In the six years since, everyone was simply trying to get by. Oh my god. Hey, Mr. Kerr. Hey there, pal. Kerr was the CEO of Perennial Harvest Company. He had become a fixture around town over the past few years. 
After the failing of Valentine Fertilizer, the town was hungry to welcome a new source of employment. Excited for the big festival. Uh, sure. Come on now, where was, um... When was I... When I was your age, there was nothing more exciting than a town festival. The food, the music, and the dancing. Sounds pretty alright. Yeah, gosh darn right it is. I'm looking forward to letting off some steam myself. Make sure to invite all your little friends. I couldn't keep Rolo away if I tried. Excellent. Sorry, Luca, I've got to get back to the proverbial grindstone. Our harvest awaits and all that. Ho oh, now. The left side's a little low. Oh, no, I want to talk to that guy. Sorry, Mr. Young Van Horn. I can't talk right now. Very busy with preparations. He was not busy. How many times do I... It's Mayor Valen... Uh... Gus instinctively loosened his tie. Give up the good work. I must briefly attend to a concerned citizen. Huh? It's nothing. Keep at it. Alright, what can the mayor of Beacon Pines do for you today? Oh, just saying hi, I guess. Well, good day to you too, young Mr. Van Horn. That guy is so formal, formal, he's calling the kids by their last names. <laughs> oh. What did that do? Oh, you lean on it. Hold on, how far is the zoom? This might make a good thumbnail. <laughs> is that a Jerboa? Hold on. Come on, Andy, grab his wallet. I'm sorry, Iggy, I can't. Do it or we pound you. Yep. Yeah, but Mom said, Yeah, but, yeah, but. If I had a nickel for every yeah, but, I'd be a freaking king of nickels. Ain't that right, Tish? Yep. Oh no, he's a bully. <laughs> hey, Mr. Sinclair. No, oh, Mr. Sinclair. Don't you see I'm sleeping, boy? How's the napping today? Crummy as always. I used to have a perfectly nice view from here, till, um, perennial harvest put that monstrosity of a building in the way. Why don't you just move your chair? Why should I be the one that moves? If it's a, sh if it's a showdown they want, I ain't gonna be the one who blinks. Oh. Mr. Van Horn, do you have a moment? It's just Luca. Golly, I'm sorry, it's my first week at, um, Perennial Harvest. Oh, I love a sweater vest. <laughs> Wonderful, it won't happen again. If we are going to be on the first name basis, then you can call me Pete. Nice to meet you, Pete. Sorry, what are you writing? Just documenting. Gosh, it's exciting to be a part of something so, uh, so darn special. You know, it's not about the new fountains and phone booths. We're going to change the world. It all starts here at Beacon, Beacon Pines. Isn't that amazing? Uh-huh. Anyway, I'd, I'd better get... Oh, that reminds me. We'd love to hear your thoughts. My thoughts. You bet. If, you're going to, if we're going to change the town, we need to, uh, to get every detail right. That sounds intense. Hmm. Change the, changing the world is intense. So what do you say? Could you answer a few questions? I guess if it's quick. Wonderful. Opening the uh, open the answering a few quick questions. One down. Seems uh, it's not that hard, is it? Okay, we're um we're going al already. Question two. What is something you love about Beacon Pines? I never really thought about it before. Perfect. It's the only place I've lived. See, that wasn't painful. What was it? I guess not. Huzzah. Our first three questions an uh, answered in record time. Are you literally writing everything down? Thank you so much for your time. I need to process these answers. We can save the rest of your thoughts for later. Okay. Our harvest awaits. Oh my god, I don't like that guy. <laughs> okay, we're going to a treehouse. Oh, hell, I like whoever you are. Hello, J Jetson! That's an awesome name! Is, uh, the line playing any tunes today? 
No, uh, no bites that uh, this morning, I'm afraid. Come to think of it, I can't remember the last one I reeled in. But hey, it was uh, never about the catch. This is where I come to think. Yeah, that's uh, what my dad used to do here. That reminds me. If you ever want uh, want his chair back, I've ta taken to standing recently. It keeps me from falling asleep at the reel. If you don't mind, I think it should stay. Not at all. An empty chair makes uh, makes for a great listener. I like that character. <laughs> Oh, oh, I, I'm shocked we get to see his dad. Okay. <laughs> no, in games like this, I thought there was going to be like a big reveal of him later. But no, he's just there. Oh. Wait, what are we picking? Oh, that's not going to work. Give it a good cast now. You'll have to reel it in a bit faster, or your catch will lose interest. Huh. Try the feather again. Okay, so the, I guess this works like Animal Crossing. But you gotta hold it, okay. Oh my god! Easy there. You don't know your own strength. Yeah, I always kind of wondered this about video game fishing, but what are you reeling in from a pond that can break the line if you pull too hard, you know? Like, if it's, like, like saltwater fishing, I can understand, because there's, like, sharks and swordfish out there, but, like, what are you going to find in a pond like this? A bass? They weigh, like, ten pounds. It's... <laughs> well, I'll be switched. It's your old rubber duck. You were just um, a little drooling ball of fur when you lost that. Cried for days. I told you it'd turn up. Hmm. Luca tied a shoestring to the hook. What fish could resist a nice shoestring? Hey, this is very easy video game fishing. <laughs> there we go. Boot! Mossy boot. Where do you think the other one is? Hard to say. Sometimes things drift away. That's not fair. No, it's not. Well, wherever it is. I hope that, um, that other boot at least has a sock to keep it company. Huh. Okay, I guess I can go into that, like, flashback sequence when I get more, more of these things that I can actually use there. Uh, whoa, 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 hold on. Mission control. Authorized personnel only. Can I talk to you more? I want to play as you. Like, that's a cool design. I like that character a lot already. <laughs> No, no, go back up. On certain nights, when the clouds were just right, the boys could tune into strange patterns of static. Rolo thinks it's aliens. He always thinks it's aliens. Luca's winter coat decommissioned for the summer. With the cold holding out longer than usual, he reconsidered its usefulness. Well, you can come out here. 
help putting that up into the tree. Oh, okay. While it didn't turn the radio into an interstellar communicator, as we'd hoped, it did at least boost the signal enough to overhear truckers one town over. Let's see if I can use that, um, in fishing. I can. Oh, they put a little check mark next to it, so you are meant to do this to all, uh, for all of them. Fishing is a law of attraction. I, I am shocked this works, but okay. <laughs> A key. Where do you think the lock for uh for, hey, the lock is for this key? Now why would uh why would we want to find that? Because then we would know the secret. That's no fun. The second we know what it unlocks, it just becomes a boring key. Right now, this key can unlock anything. Cool. Okay, what's the top secret plan to start our summer? So you know the abandoned warehouse by my place? The old Valentine building. Yeah, well it isn't abandoned. What makes you think that? Get this. Last night it was glowing. Glowing, are you sure? Kinda. That place, um, that place has been empty since. Since the foul harvest. Yeah. Who would, um, who would ever want to poke around that place? We would, Rolo. We would. Wait, it's just a busted old warehouse. I just meant we could uh, do some research at the library. You want to actually go to the warehouse? What do you expect to find? Answers. My mom's out there somewhere. And it seems like everyone wants to pretend that she's gone for good. You don't have to come, Rolo, if you don't want to. Look, I remember that time I, I sort of accidentally burned down the chicken coop? And you jumped in and said it was your fault because my paw throttled me, uh, before my paw throttled me? This is my flaming chicken coop sort of deal. I've got your back. Thanks, Rolla. Now that I think about it, walking around a, dis a decrepit fertilizer warehouse is exactly how I want to spend the first day of summer. Let's go. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Wasting no time. You look tired. Oh, I'm just catching my breath a bit. Go on, I'll catch up. It's not this building, right? No, that that's like actively being used right now. Hey, Miss Nelson. Morning, Luca. Any big plans for the summer? Not really. Heard anything about the old fertilizer warehouse? Any strange happenings? Can't say I have. Either way, a dusty old warehouse is no place for a young boy. You'd be safe now. Is that Beatrice? The two wander down the wooden path, unaware of the dangers ahead. Oh. Oh, this is getting good. Uh, Piper. Hey, Luca, what's up? You know it's, a uh, summer break, right? Of course. And it's, like, the morning, correct? And you're studying. Like they say, the early bird gets the proper education required for a successful and fulfilling career later in life. Mm-hmm. Hey, Zeriel. Hi, Luca. Could you please tell this lazy butt to help, um, to help out the cafe? Uh, Lumi, Zariel would like you... Luca, let me give you a little jump advice. If you never do what you don't love, then you'll never work a day in your life. Wow. You're really setting, uh, uh the kid up for success. Can I go in these buildings? Holden Wilder ran the local paper of record. The Beacon Beacon. Beacon Beacon? Hey, Mr. Wilder. Morning, Luca. What's the day I have in store for you? I was wondering if you heard any news about news? The Beacon Beacon knows the news um, that needs knowing. Any news about the old fertilizer warehouse? No. Oh. Rolo thought he saw some lights there last night. 
Roll ought to be careful poking around that part of town. The winds of change are blowing. And change is a dangerous animal. Change. Okay. Oh, a bat! Hey, Dawn. Dawn is a cute name for a bat. Sorry to wake you. Oh, okay, you're important, because <laughs> you have a portrait. No problem, it comes with the job. Oh, she's a journalist. What's up? Rolo said he saw something strange going on at the warehouse. You know anything about that? You might say I've heard some things. I'm working on a story about it right now. So what's going on? Can't say uh, quite yet. I still need to follow up on a few leads. Keep me in the loop, okay? Sure thing. Things seem to be qu uh, quiet in town today. Everyone is preparing for the festival. She'll be back to normal tomorrow. Catch you later. Catch you then. Oh, and Luca. I'm really sorry I haven't been able to find out anything about your mom yet. I'm just grateful that you tried. I s I'm still keeping my ears up. Okay, I like that character too. <laughs> Last Chance Diner. I guess Mr. Fratelli is getting ready for the festival. Oh! Look, at just the fellow I was looking for. Hey, Roxy, what's up? <laughs> oh, is it? Okay. <laughs> Okay, so you're meant to come back later. Alright, so this is like zero escape a little bit. <laughs> is that why this friend gave this to me? Because they... I don't know if they know I love zero escape, but I've known them long enough, I think, that they probably know about my zero escape essay I made like six years ago. <laughs> have you been... Uh, have you seen my blockhead brother today? He skipped out before breakfast. Well, not really, no. Can't say I have. Can't say or won't say. Roxy, I, I, would I lie to you? <laughs> He's ready to go! Luca, wait up. I almost forgot to tell you. Roxy might be lurking around here. This is one of her favorite places to stand around and be useless. Rolo. She needs to make sure she doesn't spot us. Rolo. Why are you doing that turning thing with your body? What, you're not scared? Uh, you're not scared, um... You're not scared, are you? She's harmless, and a chump, and she's right around the corner, isn't she? Oh my god. Don't mind me, just over here lurking uselessly. Hey, sis. Okay, you're related. Nice weather we're having, eh? I couldn't help but notice you, um, snuck out this morning before breakfast. Wasn't hungry. Also, couldn't help but notice your morning chores were left unchored. Roxy, I'm gonna leave, uh, I'm gonna level with you. I'm sick and tired of digging up carrots. We all gotta pick up the slack since, uh, since the foul, since the foul harvest. Almost every ca uh, carrot I dig up is rotten, and the rest look like they were hit uh, with Hank's uh, automatic shrink array. All the more reasons to keep on digging. There's got to be more to life than puny carrots. Look, Roxy, look, and I have a uh, place to be. So if you don't mind, oh, I don't. Oh, I do mind. I'm not gonna catch hell again because of you. So either you march yourself home and harvest those carrots, or I haul you home myself. I guess that's our only option right now. Come on, Roxy, it's the first day of summer. The sun's shining and we want to take it easy. Let's leave tomorrow's problems for tomorrow. That's great and all, but Rolo's problems have a way of becoming my problems. And Pa always said tomorrow's work is uh, best left for yesterday. Marchy, big oaf. Ah, oh, rats. I expect a full report about, uh, about the Valentine place. A FULL REPORT! Okay, so I guess with other paths, I can actually have Rolo for this. And that would change the story. So Fitz, what are you up to this lovely day? 
Nope. Cool, cool. She has to come, become important later. Okay, I kind of wish every character had a por had portrait art. But at the same time, I know that would take, like, a lot more work, because there's a ton of NPCs here, and, like, a few of them only have a few lines of dialogue. So you gotta, like, spend your budget, like, you know, where it'd be most efficient. But at the same time, like, I feel like I now know, just by looking at them, who's gonna be an important character or not. And something about visual novels is I think it's kind of fun to, like, not really know right off the bat. No touching. You bonk it. That's a big watermelon. Hey, Griffin. How's the ice cream gig going? Not great. It's still pretty cold out, and I'm I'm in the business of selling cold. I'm sure things will warm up soon. Mr. Tolliver's not uh, not at his grocery stand. He's prepping for the festival, I guess. Gotcha. Hey, Bert. Hi, Luca. I oh, see so other characters like this that look really cute, and I kind of want to see what they look like up close. But no, you just get these tiny sprites from them. I'm doing some fact checking for the town history exhibit. Look, kid, I'm just here to put up the lights. But did you know, when the town was uh, founded, there were only seven citizens, and they all worked for a mining company, and there was only one dirt road leading to town. And there still is only one dirt road leading to town. Oh, right. So I guess that's all I can do here. You know, this might be a good stopping point, too. Um, saved. Oh, it auto-saves. That was two minutes ago. Okay, so it's a pretty generous auto-save. Alrighty, then. If I just, like, go through a pathway and come back, will it auto-save again? Let's just, yeah. I think that'll be enough for this episode. I'm enjoying this so far. I like the art a lot, and this, like, zero escape style, like, timeline thing is always fun to me. I will see you folks later. Thanks for watching.